Hey, hey, what's good, everybody? How y'all doing? Look, hey, I know it's usually good morning, but today is good evening. It's Miguel Bryan. I got another edition of Midweek Medicine for you. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody feeling good on this Wednesday. Look, here, it's a little different. I know y'all probably Miguel with all the, with the theme music and everything, but I'm giving my man Luther a little break while I put together some uh, some something that I feel that will really help you guys and really benefit you guys, and I'm working on that. But in the meantime, in between time, Staying faithful over what I do and consistent what I do and, and bringing my videos every Wednesday, you know, just to uplift y'all. And that's what this one is. This is just a, this video right here is to bring you back to why you're doing what you're doing. Why you're pushing for the goals and the dreams that you want. Why you're trying to better yourself. Why you're trying to get to the next level. This is to help you get there. This is to help you just think about, you know what, that's why I do this. This is I'm not doing it for this, but it's this reason right here that really pushes me. This is the reason that makes me wake up without an alarm clock. This is the reason that helps me wake up <clears throat> without somebody saying, hey, look, what you doing today? So, you know, let me get into a um, quick story. <clears throat> My mother, you know, prior to getting pregnant with me, had an abortion before me. So um, around the age of 21, my mother did get pregnant with me. She was very nervous, very scared and everything. And um, she went to try to have an abortion with me. Actually, three times she went. Um, the first time, very nervous, scared. You know, she couldn't do it. Um, she was trembling and everything. It was just too much. Second time she went back, she actually went back with my grandmother. Um, and once again, she was too scared and too nervous and trembling too much. And they couldn't do it. So she tried to go back a third time. And the third time, they were supposed to, uh, you know, give her the gas, put her down or whatever, put her to sleep. And she still couldn't do it because she was trembling and, you know, they about to reschedule again or whatever. My grandmother looked at her and says, you know, this, we're going to have this baby. This going to be our baby. And, you know, my mother told me that from that moment on was like the happiest moment in her life because she really wanted to keep me, you know, but she just, you know, I guess, you know, you're 21, you're at that age, you, you, you're doing things, you're not really ready for kids and everything. And my mother was definitely... You know, she was having fun and partying and going out, having a good time and everything. Um, but from that moment on, my grandmother said that, said that to her. You know, um, she just said that her pregnancy with me was beautiful. You know, it was it was easy. You know, my, the day I was born, she was only in labor with me for 30 minutes. You know, um, it was just good. Um, but I'm saying, you know, my grandmother saying that to her. My grandmother actually saved my life. And the the when I finally heard this story, when I was like years down the line, it brought a tear to my eye to think that I, my grandmother didn't know me, didn't, you know, I'm, not, I'm barely formed, you know, stepped in and said, we're going to have this baby. Like, like we're going to love this baby. We're going to give this baby everything that he needs or she needs at the time. They didn't know. And, you know, that's that type of love was, you know, that was transferred over to me, you know, my mother's joy and happiness, the love, all the love and everything, and, and of course, my mother liked to have a good time, so I got all of that, and that's probably why, that's more than likely why I am, and the way that I am now, but, you know, from that moment, you know, that was a point where my destiny was, the minute I was conceived, my destiny was activated, and let me just throw one thing out there, my father didn't even know that my mother was pregnant with me, because he was about to um, start doing another tour in the Navy, and they, you know, they, they, if my mother knew that if she would have told him that he would have found a way to stay and not go do what it is that he wanted to do, so she opted not to tell him until after he had shipped out, but anyway, getting back to it, you know, we are, the moment we're conceived, it's not an accident, you know, I don't care what your circumstances or your situation is in which you were conceived, whether you, you know, it was a one night stand or, you know, when you were born, you know, your, your mother might have been on drugs and she put you in a bag and threw you in the trash can and somebody found you. Somebody gave you up for adoption. You know, whatever your circumstance, whether you had a happy birth like mine, everything was good into a loving family. You know, the way you were born does not determine your outcome and who you will become. The minute, like, it was a reason why my mother could not do it. You know, it was a reason why my grandmother had to step in and say, we're going to have this baby. This is going to be our baby. You know, I don't know. I never asked my grandmother this. And if I cry a little bit on this, you know, my grandmother passed away from me in my, my senior year. 
So if I cry a little bit from this, y'all gotta forgive me, but I do miss my grandmother, you know. I didn't even call her grandma, I called her mom, you know. Um, something in her said enough to her that, that you can't get rid of that baby. It's gonna be something more to him. And, you know, and, and, and something more to him meaning not just, you know, I'm gonna be a good man in the community and raise a good family and things like that. The average lifestyle that we know of, but something in her let her know that I was going to be more, that I would do more. And I wish I could have this conversation with my grandmother today to just, just to know what it was she was thinking uh, in that very moment when she told my mother, we're going to have this baby, you know. Um, like I said, we're born with a purpose. And say that the, the, the two most important days in a person's life is the day that he's born or she and the day that he or she figures out his purpose in life and what it is that he's supposed to be doing. And I and I can attest to that because the I had been ser searching to figure out what it was I was going to do. But that day when I woke up in the middle of the night in April, God had given me the vision that I would be speaking and motivating and inspiring people and helping people, it lit a fire in me. And when that fire lit up, every gift and talent that God gave me connected to that fire, and I'm just been rolling ever since. Um, so I tell y'all this story to say that sometimes, you know, look at look at your birth, and, and sometimes you can use your birth, you can use anything in your life to figure out where it is that you're going and what it is that you want to do and and use that for part of your why. This is what this is about, knowing your why. What is your why for what it is that you're doing, for starting that business that you're starting, for helping in, in the community the way you do, for um, being a better person or trying to become more in this company that you're working for or starting your own, whatever it is. Like, what's your why? Some people, reason why it might be just money and fame and that if that works for them, that's cool. But then others... Like myself, it's more to it than that. You know, first and foremost, I can tell you right now, my first reason why is because God gave me a vision. And I've never been scared of my vision as big as it is because God gave it to me. I'm That means I was ordained to do this thing. I was born to do it. So it's no reason for me to be afraid to do what it is I was called to do. And no matter how big it is, don't be scared of it. That's what you're destined to do. That's what you're supposed to be doing. That's what where your your ultimate destination lies in the thing that you were born to do. So step up to it and don't be scared of it. Don't run from it. Don't run from the thing that you're scared of. You run to it and you you, you embrace it and watch what happens. Okay? Um, I wouldn't be here, but I'm here. And look what I'm doing now. Like I'm motivating you guys. And, and I'm saying this to say that I love every one of y'all. I want y'all to be better. I want y'all to do better. I want y'all to get better. I want y'all to realize your potential. I want you to, to go. I want you to go further than you, you would ever imagine. The gifts and everything that you need to become more, to save lives, to save your family lives, to take you to another place, it's all within you. It's everything that I need. So I just realized in a few days, I just added a new why. So like I said, my first why was because I have a God-given vision. My second why is my family, my wife and my kids, and I want to take them to levels that we would never have thought that we could ever get to. I want to be more than just this average nine to five guy, this average car, this average life. Say, I want more for us, and we're going to get it. You know, I have a vision written out, and everything is very detailed, and it gets more detailed. And now I have just added one other thing. See, the day that my grandmother told my mother that, you know, we're going to have this baby. I don't necessarily believe that I owe my parents um, any that I have to prove anything to my parents. I believe the type of man that I am now, you know, they're proud of me. They tell me all the time, and I believe that my grandmother would be looking down from heaven right now, and she is proud of me. But that's a minimal. Like they would, they have no idea or what what truly was in store for me. And I feel that it's part. It's my job to make a return on their investment. The, the, to me, for me to be born, to still be here and not be aborted, you know, I that's an investment on my life. And I plan to give them a great return back on their investment. 
I just add this. This is the reason why I'm added now. This is added to what it is that I'm doing and why I'm going to do it. So what I'm saying to you guys is think about what it is that you want to do or that you're already doing and figure out your why, your real reason behind doing what you're doing. You know, it might not just be for money and fame or whatever. It's probably something deeper. And I guarantee you, if you find that deeper thing, it'll push you in ways that you will never believe. It'll take you to greater heights. Just remember, I believe in you. I believe in the potential that you have. If you don't have anybody else to believe in you, I do. You can go further. Figure out your why. Figure out your reason for doing what you're doing and, and, and explore it. Go in deep to it and don't be afraid of it because, like I said, you're destined to do it. You're meant to go to a higher level. You're meant to uh, become the, you're a peculiar person. You're mighty. You're marvelous. You're magnificent. You're awesome. Greatness is within you. You can achieve anything that you want. Everything that you need is right here down inside of you, right? Align your, your, your thoughts with your emotions and your beliefs. And watch the universe go to work for you. Watch you attract the things that you that's needed to go where you're trying to go. God wants these things for us, and watch them let make them happen, right? So I, I told you my story just to give you an example of how I what I just added to my why, and that knowing the the uh, the story of my beginning and how I was. I could not be here. Like it was three times I was put on the chopping block and I, and I, and I, and I'm here uh, because my two angels, my mother and my grandmother, you know, like I said, that's my, that's my grandmother's my Moses, you know, if without her, I might not be here. And I, and I love her for it. And I, I'm forever thankful. And one of these days, you know, from heaven, my mother here, they will see the return. They will see what their investment was all those 32 years ago. And I'm pushing for it and I'm striving for it. So y'all get it in, grind it out, figure out your why, work hard on, on what it is that you're trying to do. Be diligent in it. Stay focused. Stay faithful to it. You don't have to worry about how. Just trust it and go with it. Guarantee you it'll happen, right? So with that being said, this is just another edition of Mary Medicine. I wanted to share this, like this aha moment or epiphany I had, you know, just to make you guys think a little bit more about what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it. Maybe you'll discover a reason deeper than what you thought that'll push you even further, right? So I love you guys. I appreciate you guys for following me every week, your comments and everything. Like, share it, send me your comments. The feedback is great. Um... You guys have a good day. Be blessed uh, and enjoy. And like I said, I see you on the next one. All right. And 